Welcome to Right On The Mark with your host, Mark Young. Today, I'd like to invite you to drive on down south with me as I make this southern port swing drink. That's right, folks. Come along, take a ride with me. We'll have a drink and we'll have a good time down south. <laughs> <laughs> so welcome back to my channel and my drink of the week, which just happens to be a porch swing drink. Now it's a very southern drink, as you could tell. Let's go over the ingredients. We have some Woodford Reserve, Kentucky Straight Woodford Reserve. I have some homemade peach tea right here, which I actually brewed by myself. Maybe the lovely Kim might have made it. With a little tea bag and water, so that's fresh tea. Uh, I have some honey over here. I don't have the honey syrup, but the regular honey will do. I have a uh, lemon right here, and we're gonna dress it up with a little orange peel, mix it all together, Southern style. And I think you're gonna like it. I've never had it, but I'm sure it's gonna be nice and sweet. So let's go ahead and get started. First, we're gonna start with some ice in the glass. That might be a little bit too much ice. Ice in a glass. We're gonna come behind the ice with a jig of the Woodford Reserve. I'm sure this will start melting the ice as soon as I put this in. Oh yeah. For you folks out there that like Woodford Reserve in your Manhattans or whatever, or just straight up, you're gonna love it. We're gonna come behind that with a, uh, a half a lemon. So let me go ahead and cut this lemon right here, load it in the chamber so we can get all that fresh squeezed lemon. Now you could actually use lemon juice if you prefer, if you don't have a lemon, but why not go fresh if you have it? So go ahead, squeeze that right into your glass. There's no shaking today, folks, we're just starting. Set that aside. We're gonna go ahead and add six ounce. Now I pre-measured the peach tea, sweet peach tea, so we're gonna go ahead and just dump as much as we can in here. Kind of bring it up to the top. That looks pretty good. And then we're gonna drizzle a little honey over it. Now, my understanding is uh, honey syrup probably works a little bit better because it's a little more uh, watery. This is more viscous, so it's thicker. Uh, so it might be hard to dissolve, but I'm gonna go ahead and just squirt a little of my honey into the glass. And then we're gonna shake it up and give it a test. This is a Southern drink for sure, no doubt about it. It's as easy as a Sunday morning. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna give it a mix. It's a very tall drink, very tall iced tea drink, it looks like. It's definitely gonna be good for sipping, no doubt. On a porch swing, you're not gonna be able to beat it. You're on camera, say something. There we go. We've been spending a lot of time down uh, down south, you know, with s and wedding coming up. So I thought this would be very fitting to make a southern porch swing drink. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a taste. So porch swing drink, going in. Ooh, that is sweet. That is good, folks. I'm telling you, without a lie, that is sweet. I could taste, I could definitely taste the Woodford Reserve. That peach tea isn't too overpowering. I could taste a little bit of honey and a little bit of the lemon over there. But all in all, I definitely gotta give it a bingo, baby. This will take you to the promised land. I guarantee it. Stick to my program. There's no doubt about it. I'll take you to the promised land, as usual. Very simple drink, very simple ingredients. You could take this drink down south, you could sit on a porch, and you can keep on sipping. I mean, come on, we're halfway through February. Valentine's Day is over, you know why? Because Greg, the hammer of Valentine, said so. That's my happy Valentine's Day gift to you. But anyway, folks, comment below. Let me know what you think about this porch swing drink, if you've ever made it, if you've ever heard of it. It's fitting for us since we're always heading down south, getting ready for this wedding thing. Uh, but it's definitely worth a try. We can go ahead, garnish it with a little orange. I'll say orange peel. How about that? 
go ahead and drop that in there and it gives you another level, another layer of sniffiness, if that's a word. You could really sniff it. Oh yeah, baby. That will take you to the promised land. Anyway, folks, lovely Kim's not here. She's out and about. She's very busy. She got a lot of things going on. So I hope I entertained you. I try not to take up too much of your time. Just wanted to do a quick drink, see how y'all are doing. Hope you guys are living it up. Weather's getting nicer. We're heading in closer to spring anyway. We're not heading into it, but we're getting closer. So comment below, like I said, definitely let me know what you think of this drink and uh, always, always subscribe to Right On The Mark because that about wraps it up for Right On The Mark with your host, Mark Young. Don't forget to like, tap that bell, and do whatever it is you have to do to see me on TV. <laughs> Cheers. See you next time, folks.